Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Nasrin Padasale. So this video is all about what is a minimum mark to clear your joint CSE or UGC NET examination under mathematical sciences that also under this JRF that is Junior Research Fellowship. So there are two categories. If you are applied under this Junior Research Fellowship means in this particular video will be really helpful. There are many advantages of knowing this minimum mark before writing your examination. Even it has many advantages of predicting whether you will clear your exam examination or you won't clear examination by predicting this minimum mark itself. So let me give you a important idea how you can calculate this minimum mark in the examination hall itself at the end of the video. So please watch the video fully. So before entering into analysis part of video, let me show you. So this is subject or category wise number of students applied or appeared for this lecturership and JRF. So with respect to this mathematical sciences, here you can be able to see how many students has applied for JRF. So you can check category wise also. So with respect to JRF, nearly 20,000 students has applied, which is very much low when compared with other sciences like chemical sciences, life sciences and physical sciences. Okay. So here you can able to see for JRF question, nearly 20,000 students will apply for every year. I'm saying a minimum to maximum amount, approximate value. So with lecturership question, only 10,000 students will apply. Okay. So in this lecturership, there is no age limit. So clearing the mathematical sciences and a lecturership question is that much difficult but you know this JRF only there is a particular age limit within 30 years of age you need to clear this mathematical sciences under JRF so I think uh, if you are a one who had currently pursuing an MSc degree or who had our uh, last five years if you completed your MSc program under mathematical sciences then it's well good for you to prepare or to apply uh, for this mathematical sciences and JR under this JRF category okay so uh, here I had made enough analysis. What is the minimum mark to qualify your CSE or UGC net examination under mathematical sciences? That also under this JRF category. So I'll up update you with the minimum mark to qualify joint CSE or net mathematical sciences under this uh, LS category in upcoming videos. I'll give the link in the description below. Okay. So before knowing this minimum mark, let me clarify you how this minimum mark is decided by this NP. So you all know previously the CSCR is involved in conducting this examination. This, you know, the CSCR HRDG group is involved in conducting examination. But later on, this NTA has taken the responsibility. And from June 2019 onwards, this NTA conducts the CBT mode. So only this NTA is involved in taking a whole responsibility of producing the minimum mark. Okay. So, factor number one is total number of students applied for the examination. Say for 10,000, if 10,000 students have applied or written the examination means, the cutoff will be around 35 marks out of 200. It's an example only, friends, okay. Say instead of 10,000, the next year, if 50,000 students have applied means, it has written the examination means, the cutoff will go high. That is, the lesser the number of students applied, lesser the cutoff will be. Greater the number of students applied, greater the cutoff will be. Next factor is with respect to the difficulty level of question paper. The question paper is easy, then the cutoff will be very high. The question paper is tough, the cutoff will be very low. Okay. So the next with respect to the factor number three, that is marks scored by the topper. Yes, this mark scored by the topper is also a play in vital role. If the more the topper marks, then the cutoff will go very much higher. Okay. So the topper with the cutoff to be low, the topper mark should be as low as possible, which is impossible to predict. Okay. And next thing is with respect to the past year cutoff. Rate. So I had made a past 11 years of cutoff under this mathematical sciences that also for the JR. Okay. So when you compare the LS and JR up under this mathematical sciences, the, there was no much difference in cutoff wise. Okay. Say uh, uh, if for clearing JRF, the general students to take uh, this particular percentage, that is 53.13 percentage means to clear the LS, it will be around 51. That's how only two points alone will be lesser. Okay. So this is a percentage wise, but you know the exam is for 200 and this is what is a minimum mark to clear the examination. That is how many mark you need to get over here out of 200 to clear the exam. So, uh, this will be particular thing. I had converted the percentage into uh, raw marks. It is out of 200. Here I had made a detailed video about it. So, here you can able to see in mathematical sciences or uh, every year the cutoff is somewhat higher when compared to other sciences. This is, this is because with respect to the mathematical sciences, total number of candidates applied for this mathematical sciences is very much less. Uh, sorry, very much less. That's the reason why I'm saying. Okay. So, this is what I had provided you. When compared to the general 
category, OBC will have little bit lesser cutoff. 10 to 12 points, it will be lesser. And still, when you compare with general EWS OBC, you know, these three categories will show a very, very low cutoff. And why here I had provided you a blank means, this EW category have been uh, newly came into force on June 2000 examination only. So, that's the reason why I made it them into black. Okay. So, I had made this particular thing. What is the minimum mark to qualify joint CSA or UGC net examination, mathematical sciences under this JRF category. Okay. So, if you are belong to general category, then you should get 90 to 125 marks. That is a safest mark. And if you belong to this EWS category, then you should get 90 to 115 marks. And if you belong to OBC category, you should, uh, safer mark should be 80 to 100. If the question paper is very hard, then you should get 80 marks out of 200. The question paper is very easy, then your target should be 100 marks out of 100. And for AC and AST, you should get 60 to 80 marks. So, say if you are getting 70 marks, that's also fine good because every year this particular thing will be changed because every year as the years is get passing, many students are getting aware about this joint CSA or UGC net examination. At the same time, this NTA is also involving setting up a tough first question paper in the upcoming years you need to put a enough hundred percentage to two hundred percentage of uh, your hard work to clear the examination okay friends so what is an advantages of knowing this minimum mark before writing the examination or after writing the examination means say if you are writing the exam for three hours time period you will complete your exam within two hours i don't know how about how about this mathematical sciences whether it is full of problems or not but once you know this minimum mark just know uh, you know get an idea if you are a general student then you should get 125 mark out of 200. Say after you write an examination, you need to take a scribbling pad that is rough paper provided to you and you need to calculate the mark in the examination hall itself. Okay. And say if question number one, you need to put question number one and if the mark, if, the, if you have attempted the question, then you need to put four mark. That is part C carries four mark. Like that you need to keep on putting all the question that you are attempted. Okay. And at, at, at last, you need to calculate the mark. If for 200 you are getting 130 mark or 140 mark, then you need to stop at that particular point itself because this is unnecessarily, uh, you should not re again, again, again revisit your question paper. Anyway, you can try to uh, analyze the question for marked responses. That thing I'll analyze, that I'll let, I'll tell you later on but you need to stop at that point itself if you are keeping revisit the question paper and again and again means this will make you to change the option for which you had already attempted and that is a correct answer but your mind will think in an unnecessary way and this makes you to lose the mark and this may again makes you to uh, disqualify or this again makes you to fail in the particular examination so that's how nearly 50 percentage of students are in really uh, frustrated in clearing this joint CSR examination. You should also in a smart way, you should move in clearing that particular examination. So that's how I had made this particular thing. And also if you are OBC candidate and you have calculated the mark in the examination hall itself, for 200, you are getting only 50 mark or 60 mark means you need to try to extract few questions for which you can give a correct answer. That's how this particular knowing this minimum mark will be helpful. So in upcoming video, I'll put you, I'll share you many concepts with related to this minimum mark with respect to this ESCR examination and also with regarding to admit card download process and all. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.